Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I got something big on the creek, Chub. Yeah. Catfish. Oh, it's a big Ooh, Kobe got a big crappie. That one's going to be a keeper for sure. Those are some perfect golden crispy nuggets. Well, what's up, guys? It's Daniel in Houston and Jacoby from Arms Family Homestead. And today, it's hot. It's really hot. And we're going to do a little video. The, the crappie are biting. The sand bass are biting at the lake. Houston and I have been down at the dock at a friend of ours' little private dock the last few days. And, well, Kobe went with us a couple days ago. Sand bass crappie are biting. We're going to do a sand bass and crappie taste test because everybody knows crappie are good. Nobody thinks the sand bass or white bass are that tasty. It's not, but they're all biting at the dock. It's not white bass. It's not white bass. They're sand bass, right? Yes. But the first thing is, is we've got to have some bait. We want some live bait. We're going to catch some minnows, maybe some tiny bluegill. I got I got two pieces of bread and then put some catfish, uh, catfish, uh, feed yeah catfish yep. feed inside of it. so we got some micro jigs we got nets we got a cast net we're going to catch as many minnows as we can and we're going to go turn them into crappie and sand bass and then hopefully fry some up and see which one really is the best kobe's going to start off with the net i see a whole bunch of minnows <laughs> kobe's got a net houston's going to put out a fish trap first because there's a there's a thousand tiny little minnows. Let's see. Is he big enough to fish with? Oh, yeah. Kobe's going to try to catch little bitty minnows. Houston's goal with the uh, the fish trap is some teeny tiny little bitty bluegill. And I brought a fishing pole with a, a micro jig that's uh, one of the trout magnet lures. Look at this thing. Look how small thing is it's maybe a half inch long so bear what are you gonna try to catch buddy just a good time that's too big Now, if we were catfishing, that'd be great. Or even a bass. Way too big for cropping. Now that one, probably too big for a crappie, but we may throw him in the bucket because I bet we could catch a bass on that one. I know a sand bass will eat that. He's probably, I don't know, less than three inches long. A little, uh, long-eared sunfish throw it over there there's usually a lot of minnows in that oh you lost them well, there's a couple bluegill. I thought I saw I some bigger minnows. Up. Hang on, there's a big minnow right there. We can get him out of the net. Oh yeah, that guy right there. Definitely good bait. We can keep him alive till we get him to the dock. <laughs> well, you threw it a whole six inches. Yep, sure did. Oh, that one's a good bait right there, too. Let's get him out of the net. Hang on, hang on. We're going to have to uh, pull him through. I thought it was a little bass at first, but it's not. They look like Big them. creek minnow. Big creek chub. Perfect size for bait, though. Kobe, how many minnows do you think you've caught? Uh, a dozen. Probably a dozen. Good deal. All right, camera focus. Look at this. That's not a cool looking little creek minnow. We're not going to keep that for bait. He's like six inches long. Now he'd probably catch a catfish, but some sort of darter. I, I am not an expert on the minnows in this creek. Oh, lost him. Toss him back. Yeah, he's a little too big. I saw him a minute ago. Hey, go try that little hole right there. 
it usually holds quite a few minnows. Toby scooping up all kinds of bait right now. I think he dropped one too. Here he is. <laughs> He's willing to do what it takes to get the bait, buddy. Mm -hmm. Let's try to get the bass out without hurting him and release him back. It's all kinds of caught up in his gills. Here, get him out. I only have one hand. That one right there, we can definitely put in the bucket. And I'm going to say we probably got a couple dozen or more minnows in there, so we should be good. I've got a, a, uh, a water bottle in the freezer at home. We'll put it in there and keep them cool. And uh, here's the situation. If we don't get out of here and go fishing soon, I'm going to be in here swimming because I'm uh, sweating like a crazy person already, so... Let's load up and go fishing. Yeah, bring those pliers with us. Houston forgot them here the other day. So let's head to the lake, see if we can catch a crappie. Now nah, throw out there one more time. There you go. Much better throw. Let's see what you got. Hey, look at there. You got a big uh, red ear. You know, maybe we should just do a whole video one day, come down here and see how many different species we can catch in a cast net. You know what? Yeah. Get up here, Mr. Red Ear. Yeah, quit jumping. There's a ton of minnows around the trap. I don't know if you got any little bluegill. Sure. Ooh, the perfect. Oh my goodness. Well. You almost, got a ton of little bluegill. That's what we were after. Yeah. They're literally almost all perfect. Perfect sized bait, huh? Yeah. I bet a sand bass will nail those. That fin, okay. okay? Don't go try to go down through his belly. There you go. Go down to the bottom, Kobe, and then just reel up a couple times. Oh, Houston's already got one. First cast. What do you got? Oh, I got a crappie. Got a crappie, got a crappie. It'll be a little small, but you never know. We can check it. All right, Houston got one on the first cast. I'm not even cast. First drop. They have to be 10 inches to keep, though, okay? Let's go check it. I think he's going to be a little short. Yeah. Bottom lip on zero. Yep, he's a little short. He's nine, so toss him back. One inch, too small. Yep, we'll get him next summer. Yeah. Dang, I hadn't even got my pole rigged up for it with a minnow yet, and Houston's already on another fish. That's two in a row. I think he's probably too short too, huh? Yeah, he's definitely too short. Hold him up here, let's see. He's, he's way shorter. Yeah, you got a small. All right, Kobe. Drop it. You got to let it drop all the way to the bottom. Okay. And then just reel it up about two turns off the bottom and get ready. Go all the way to the bottom. And just come up a little bit from the bottom. I got one. This don't feel like a crappie though. It's, only it's coming up awful heavy. Sand bass or a catfish? Feels oh, that's a catfish. Thought we were snagged him. <laughs> uh, snagged him in the back fin. <laughs> he swapped at my minnow and missed it, I guess. Hey, there, Slimy. Mr. Slimy. She's talking to you. He sure is. Well, our goal is crappie and sand bass. And then we come down here. Oh, catch a catfish. He's headed for the water. Now, I'm not one to turn down a good eating channel cat. That's a little less than a pound, probably a 13, 
13 inch catfish, something like that. So first fish in the basket, not our target species, but we'll take it. Oh, Ooh, Kobe got a big crappie. That one's gonna be a keeper for sure. I don't think there's any need to measure that one here. I got another rod I'm sitting out. This one's got a tiny bluegill on it. Huh? Give him the belly. As long as you don't Richie it, which you already got it past that point. So do you want to measure it, see how big it is? I guarantee you that one's over 10. Yeah. What'd you say your guess is on how big this crappie is? Uh, 13. Uh, no, it's not even... Yeah, he's looking at the ruler now going, eh. he said 13 and a half, but 11. it's probably about 11. So bump him up there, close his mouth and put it on the zero. Oh, Damn. hey, you don't let go of him. All right, we're gonna put his nose on zero. He is right at 12, yeah. okay? Well, we're gonna put him in that basket right there. Here, you catch, hold your fish. So walk right around there and drop him in that basket. Just open up yep, you may have to pick it up. Like just, just drop him, just let go of the fish and then lift up on the basket and he'll fall down in there. Kind of bump it. There you go. Oh my goodness. What? What do you got? <laughs> a little bluegill. Ain't he cute? You're supposed to say, oh man, look how pretty it is. Look at all the colors on this. <laughs> but we're looking for more keeper crappie. We've only got one keeper crappie so far. Oh. Worst case scenario though, Houston, we got a bag of fish in the refrigerator from yesterday already, huh? Yeah, we do. Houston's hooked up. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, oh. Another little bluegill. These things are literally just like white. You can almost see through them right now. Yeah. So the the creeks is the water in the creeks really clear and shallow. So they get more color to them than clear water. This water is really green and low visibility. So when they when they're you know six, eight, ten, twelve or more feet deep, you know there's not a lot of sunlight down there. Yeah. Pretty much a baby redhead slider. About that big. Got him. Woo! I got one. Got a crappie. I don't know if he'll be a keeper or not, but we'll find out. Lee looks a little small to me. Probably a eight and a half, nine incher. Yeah, nine and a half. Not big enough. See you, buddy. Fix to go down with one of the, the big creek chub minnows. He's still alive. He's not flopping. Up, oh, up. Oh. Hey, get over here. Yep. You're going down. We'll see what you catch. What you got? What you got? What you got? Kobe's hooked up. Oh, bluegill. Just another bluegill. Keep getting them bigger and we're gonna start eating those. Ooh, ooh. Oh. I got something big on the creek chub. Yeah. Catfish. No, it's, oh, a it's a bass. <laughs> it's a bass. Pretty nice one too. The creek chub is coming. Nice large mouth, yeah, I lost my minnow. Well, he's not a giant, but a really nice, probably 13, 14 inch largemouth bass. I'm telling you, today is like a multi-species day. And I'm not lying, yesterday, Houston and I came right here. We fished right here. And I think we caught probably a dozen crappie and six or eight sand bass. And we cleaned them up. I just videoed a few vertical clips is all I did because we weren't making a full on video for you guys. But uh, today, it's a multi-species day. All right, Mr. Greensides. Go back down there and get bigger. All right, the word is on the street, crappie are at the docks. Houston and I got a bucket of minnows and a couple poles. Yep. We're gonna see if we can catch some crappie, right? Yes. Glad you got that fish in. Oh, I got one. Got a crappie. I got a little crappie. <laughs> Got a bigger crappie this time, Houston. That one's a keeper. Oh yeah. You gonna get him in or what? Well, you gonna let that crack fish whoop you? <laughs> so is that a sand bass or a white bass? It's a sand bass. <laughs> okay, I agree, I agree. I agree too. 
Got a crappie this time? Nope. Still on the sand bass game, huh? Yep. Not a bad haul for an afternoon. We got a got about a dozen fish to clean. Crappie and sand bass. All right, this time I'm going in with a mosquito fish. Teeny tiny little bitty mosquito fish. Got one. Got one. Got one. Yes. You boys are hello. Look at there. We're continuing the multi species. <laughs> oh, come back. This time I caught a drum. So now we're up to uh, bluegill, crappie, channel cat, largemouth bass, and a drum. <laughs> everything under the world, everything under the world under this dock. You caught a mosquito fish. I don't think it counts when it's one that we've already caught, buddy. Nice you don't think he was one we caught and he got got off a hook or something? Probably. What? How in the world was I fishing right where you are for the past five or ten minutes and you're right there for three seconds and then you already have one? Well, buddy, all I know to tell you is it's all about the angle of the dangle. I don't know. What? Angle of the dangle. All right, Mr. Drum. See ya. These two boys are getting frustrated because old dad's starting to put it on them. Drop down, see what I catch next. I mean, there's still a few other species in this lake. We haven't caught a smallmouth bass yet. A gar. I haven't caught a gar. There's a few other things we could catch, but Hothead. we haven't caught a sand bass today. Houston caught a bunch yesterday in this very spot in these boat slips. A flathead. But yeah, we can catch a flathead, a blue cat. Flat. We'll see. We'll catch something else. Dang, oh. something just destroyed my little bluegill, and I missed it. Oh, Sandbass. what do you got? What do you got? I, think it's a I bet it's a kitty cat. Probably. Yep, channel I, cat. I, I uh, snagged him again. <laughs> I think so. You know, like it, though. He's not a giant, but he's a. Uh, not a crappie and not a sand bass. Isn't that funny how that works? You know, like mm -hmm. yesterday, sand bass after sand bass and crappie after crappie. Today, a little bit of everything. Better grab your rod. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Well, don't let him whoop you. Are you hung up? Ah. Oh. He got down there in a brush pile, didn't he? Dang. I didn't even know he was on. <laughs> Lost one. Oh, he's on the bottom. Yeah, he's on the bottom. Give me a plate. <laughs> I thought you said you were jumping in to cool off. I said I'm going to try that first. Here. Oh, you're jumping off of there? Yeah, that looks like a lot more fun than uh, not catching fish. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Let's go! <laughs> I got a fish! All by myself, what we get? It's not very big. Another kitty cat, another kitty cat. Get up here, little channel cat. I got you. No. Oh, pulled the hook. Dang, that was my fault. 
man, I was playing with him, trying to get it all on video for you guys, and should have just caught the fish. All right, if this fish takes it, I'll hand it to you. I think he's got it, though. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Oh, I got too much slack in the line now. Here, see if you can get him. I might have found the catfish hole. Oh, look at there. Don't reel him too far. A little channel cat. Hmm. Man, I decided to jump in the water for just a second. And Houston said, oh, we got a fish. As soon as I had been in the water 10 seconds. Houston catches a fish. And I looked up, and the blue rod was going, blah, 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 blah. The blue rod's over here slamming down. I'm like, ah, we, he didn't end up taking it. Kobe didn't get to catch him, but maybe I should jump in again. Yeah, do it. Hang on. Let me put the rod in first for a minute. There you go. Leave the bail open and let it sink down. Yep. Leave the bail open, let it sink. Kind of onto a little pattern. We caught, I think that was four, number four channel cat here pretty quick. coming up the temp I want I really like to cook my fish at right at about 350 so we're just about there it's coming up nicely and since we uh, have three different options of fish we're gonna do a three-way taste test so originally this was gonna be a sand bass versus crappie see which one's better see if people can really tell the difference well now it's sand bass crappie and channel cat sand bass what you don't see in the crappie is the sand bass will have a little bit of red meat. That, that's a bloodline. You'll be able to taste that. Here's our channel cat, kind of yellowish looking, but no bloodline. And the crappie, pure white filet. Almost no bloodline, almost no red meat in it whatsoever. Now you could work and take that little bit of red meat out, but as long as these sand bass are cooked fresh, it just, it, they're still amazing. Now I'm not gonna do anything fancy. We're not gonna dip them in mustard or anything. Straight up Louisiana fish fry mix with a little slap your mama added in there. Straight into the oil and we'll do a taste test. So I'm gonna try to make this a blind taste test for Houston and Jacoby. It's just the three of us here right now. DJ and Emily are gone. Actually, DJ and Emily will be home in a little while. They're just not here right now. We're gonna do a little blind taste test with the boys. I'm the only one that's gonna know which fish is which, in theory. Don't drop it. Last time, that was one time a long time ago. Can I drop one in? Next three are sand bass. I think we can keep them separated here pretty well. Those are some perfect golden crispy nuggets. I don't know about nuggets, but there's First three out. Perfection right there. Perfection. All right, there's all three. Channel catfish, sand bass, crappie. I'm gonna let them cool just a little bit. I'm gonna see what the boys think. See which one, let's put, we'll put them, put them in order. Rank them, one, two, and three, okay? Now, I don't. I don't necessarily. I'm not asking if you can tell me which one's which. I I'm want. Gonna, I'm gonna try to do that, and then rake them. Okay. Well, if you want to tell me first, I know which three. I know what's what in all three of them. So see if you can tell me first. Take a bite of that one first, Kobe. So what was the first one? Let me, let me, let me taste this one just to make sure. I know what this one is, that thing. You know what that one was? Yeah. What is it? Crappie. Nope, not crappie. 
Okay. Nope. So you tried one and two. No, this is this is sand bass. Yeah. Sand bass. Sand bass. Yep. Try number three before you try to guess what it is. Oh crap! That one's hot. Earl, you think you can guess what it is too, buddy? Oh. Mm. Channel cat. Crappie. Channel cat. Is that right? Hang on, Kobe. Hang on. Try again. Sand bass. Yep. Channel cat. Yep. Crappie. Okay, now rank them. One, two, and three. Crappie first. Channel cat two. Sand bass three. Okay. What you? What do you think, Kobe? You are sweating, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Holy, it's hot out here, isn't it? All right, tell me what's what. Channel cat? Yep. Sand bass? No. Oh, you, yeah. Sand bass. You tell me. It's sand bass. Okay. And you think that one's crappie? Yeah. Well, you're right on the catfish. This one's crappie, and this one's sand bass. I can still see the bloodline in it. So rank them. Tell me. Oh. One, two, and three. Oh, he's got to get another bite. Kobe don't know with just one bite. That's real. The crappie? I will say the crappie is really, really good. Yeah, I bet. One, two, and three. Uh, one, two, three. So you said crappie, sand bass, channel cat. One, two, three. Both of you ranked crappie first. Houston said the channel cat was second. Kobe said the sand bass was second. Is there any of them you don't like? No. All good? Yeah. yeah. Okay, my turn to do a little taste test while I cook. Mmm, crappie. Look at that beautiful white meat. Mm. Hands down, I love crappie. They're, if anybody doesn't love crappie, you got a problem. Real thin filet, perfect white meat. Mm. But there's nothing wrong with a good channel catfish filet. That's good stuff. And last but not least, the white bass, the sand bass. You still see its little uh, bloodline in here just a little bit. But oh my God. I'm telling you, when they're cooked fresh, like catch them, cook them that day or the next, they're hard to beat. They're absolutely hard to beat. A lot of people won't eat sand bass or white bass because they say they taste too fishy. If you freeze them, thaw them out, a lot of times they get fishy tasting. Eating fresh... They're amazing. Mm. All right, fellas. Oh, I got warm. Tater tots got a little bit overdone. That's all right. I like them crispy. Hush puppies are almost done. Hush puppies? Y'all can go ahead and dig in. Okay. Um, you know, it's one thing when the dogs are sitting here watching you cook and eat fish. But when the fish are watching you eat fish. The fish are watching you eat fish? That's a little bit weird, maybe. Oh, my goodness. They're just hanging out. Now for bad for them. Well, there you have it. Great day. Great day of fishing. Didn't turn out exactly the way we wanted it to, but we still had fun. And I'm going to have to go with crappie first, channel cat second, unless the sand bass is fresh caught. So today, fresh caught sand bass, we're gonna have to put that second. Then the channel cat. Channel cat's still good. Don't get me wrong, especially those little bitty ones. But it's hard to beat the crappie. Hands down, best freshwater fish out there, period. I don't care what anybody says. Crappie's number one and always will be. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.